set, go! Hi, Courtney. <gasps> so we started off by checking his visual acuity. So what we're looking for is either reduced vision in both eyes or a difference between the two eyes where one eye is, is much reduced than the other. Um, makes us suspicious for amblyopia, um, which some people call lazy eye. Um, that can be caused by a higher prescription in one eye, um, by an eye turn, or by some sort of, uh, and we have to rule out that there's some sort of pathology in the eye um, that's also causing the reduced vision. Um, after that, we took a look at his eye alignment. Um, when we were shining the light, we're looking at the reflection of the light off the front of his eye. Um, that looked perfect. Um, we're also checking his depth perception. So we have a card that has um, some 3D targets on it. And as you can see, he, looked, he grabbed right for them. So that was perfect. And then we took a look. Uh, I get an, an estimate of what his prescription was. Um, he's a little bit farsighted, which is normal for his age. Um, and then we were taking a look at how um, his eye movements were going. So he was able to move his eyes in all directions, which was perfect. There's certain conditions that you can't see or know until you dilate their eyes and, and check <laughs> and take a look. It's, it's really not a hard exam at all, so it's pretty quick and easy. It kind of follows the exact same um, guidelines as what you would do for an adult. It's just modified testing. So okay. there's you know, a form that you can fill out that tells you kind of the elements of the exam that you should go through. Um, but it, it's the same idea as with an adult, just we use different methods to get that same information. So we're mostly looking for, you know, the, the eye turn and the high prescription. But if we do notice that there's some re reduced vision, we have to rule out that there's not some sort of ocular pathology going on. Um, so that's why we dilate the eyes to look inside and make sure everything looks nice and healthy. Um, we want to rule out that there's not any you know, anything going on in the eye, and the thing that we're, um, we most want to rule out is that there's not some sort of um, tumor inside the eye, and that's what's kind of the scary thing that we don't want to find. Um, so you can have an eye turn that's, you know, just a congenital turn, so, you know, the muscles aren't working properly, but you can also have an eye turn that's related to the fact that you have a very high prescription, mm -hmm. um, and so sometimes putting glasses on will straighten out the eyes because it's linked to the focusing system. Um, and then you could also have an eye turn because there's some sort of disease or pathology going on in the eyes. So we want to figure out kind of what's the reason that you're having an eye turn and we would treat those in different ways. I believe if we can catch these um, conditions before, you know, when you're at risk for them, before they've really taken effect, um, that we can keep these kids from going um, unidentified, you know, into their school years. Um, so it's really, you know, trying to get people in for yeah. the exam as early as possible. Can you find my pictures? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you see some other ones? Yeah, good job! Good job.